Seizing drugs on the high seas. You may have seen the dramatic video of a Coast Guard crewman recently boarding a submarine suspected of transporting illegal drugs. Drug enforcement agents and federal prosecutors here in North Texas have investigated and filed charges against drug smugglers in similar cases. Jack Fink has the story you'll only see on CBS 11. U.S. Coast Guard video shows crew members jumping onto a moving homemade submarine operated by drug smugglers in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Inside, the Coast Guard found about 17,000 pounds worth of cocaine, valued at more than $230 million. The numbers are just staggering, the amount of drugs that are coming over. Joe Brown, the U.S. attorney covering Collin and Denton County, says for 10 years now, federal prosecutors in this district have worked with the Coast Guard and DEA agents in Dallas to pursue these kinds of cases and file charges against the drug smugglers. We always have to provide evidence that the drugs were intended to come to the United States. On Thanksgiving Day 2016, Coast Guard crews discovered this fishing boat more than 1,000 nautical miles west of the Galapagos Islands, Ecuador. Suddenly, those aboard started throwing packages into the ocean, which prosecutors say contained one ton of cocaine. Seven people, including six Chinese nationals, were arrested and brought to North Texas, marking the first time China allowed its citizens to be prosecuted for this. Very significant. Um, it is the first step in cooperation uh, because it was the first time that it ever happened. Clyde Shelley Jr. is the special agent in charge of the Dallas DEA, which investigated this case. The agency says the one ton of cocaine seized in total that day is worth nearly $30 million on the streets of North Texas. The captain was found guilty and received life in prison. It, it may seem harsh, but in the broader picture, we have to move on every single person that's involved in the chain of supply. The boat's engineer received nearly 20 years in prison. Five others pleaded guilty. When drug trafficking organizations are being pursued by law enforcement, they often dump their load in the middle of the ocean. And so to help them try to recover it at a later date, they often use these spot tracers or GPS devices that they attach to the drugs. They also attach them to buoys so that they can more easily spot them in the water. It is the, the ultimate in greed. Um, they do not want to lose this load. The U.S. attorney says since February of last year, they've brought about 300 defendants from foreign countries to the Eastern District of Texas to be prosecuted. We want the drug dealers to fear the United States law enforcement. Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.